But Sidon, just early in these fights, keeps getting this take on the poke. And that's such a massive play. Kevin also set up in a masterful position to find another pick and a third as well. The Brawlers seem to be falling apart. I, I mean, what what can you do to dodge? They wasted all the utility, and now EJ's gonna put it down the shadow, but gets punished for it at the same time. Now you got all the alts coming out on the side of the numbies. You gotta think that this is game over. Even with their tank down, the rest comes through. Elgar's the last one surviving on what is not the point, apparently. They yeah, they did a very good job rotating to the left, and it looks like they get the opening pick as well, and Elgar, big pick. That's a big pick. Sidon's really set up into a very solid position, a very punishable position around this fire truck, and Elko splitting his attention, doing his best to sort of keep track of every member of his team, trying to keep them together, but eventually the focus is going to come back onto him. Dyer just jumps in onto their safe space, into the room that they were doing their best to hold out on. The rest of the team, first tank, and the bomb actually gets lifted up by the pedal. Just some good punishment, but Elgar's popping off on the back line, builds up the sim wall, it's now left to Dyer on the point, spot for himself, basically working out fairly well this time. Kevin finds the pick onto the tank, and Jax right there at the res. Tied down with the overclock is not something to be slept on, my friend. That's gonna find three, and that's gonna basically mark the end of the match, the end of the fight. Up these windows, but Dyer with the three man plus, it's gonna be so massive. The one field is there, right on time to cancel it out, but it's not gonna be able to find EJ. So now, Brawlers have to survive without a tank. What can they do here to sustain on the point? Really nothing when you got side on looking at you. Elko. They have block, but will not matter. Is they get Unfortunately, I, I think it was either Kevin or Sidon that got picked there, and then they just ran on Dire for free, so despite the heroics of Dire, they were not able to take it. Folks are gonna come out. Some big positive stuff for the side of the numbies, effectively are a wasted amplification matrix thus far from Pope, and that might have been their game-winning ult before you hack the Farah, otherwise you can't really get any good progress out of the point. Centurion's just gonna be left completely uncontested because EJ typically can't be the one to fly up there, Elko can't be the one to dash up there. The team of the numbies is able to surround point with Sidon, who's just such a specialist on any DPS role you put him on, but especially Definitely still anybody's game. And Dyer with the super punch onto Elko off the map. Oh my gosh, Dyer. What are you doing? And everybody's in the room. Give him a charge, just punch up. Find another. Find a third. Okay, Dyer, you're going crazy right now. Okay, get traded out. Okay. I'm just so glad that he got punished for that. That would have been insane if it went uncontested. But it feels like it sort of has at this point in time. Because now you got Dyer and Sidon back. And now the rest of the brawlers. Sort of just died on the point. Nerdy's able to touch back on, but it's only good.